You could call me the Heat Miser because I prefer a green Christmas to a white Christmas. But let's get started about that. What's up guys, Mighty Midget here with the Christmas vlog of 2014. I am a bit late on this one, it's the day after Christmas, so all the presents have been opened and everything's been done. I'm going to take this off because it's red, not green. See you later. So let's talk about Christmas, shall we? Like I said, for those of you who don't know my vlogs, I talk about the holiday, and this year it's I talk about lessons for the holiday. It's all about the holiday, really. And then I'll ask you questions about the holiday. And holiday, holiday, it's always about the holiday. So let's talk about the holiday. First of all, yes, I got a lot of Jets paraphernalia, apparel, etc., etc. I got a lot of other stuff that's sitting right there. But for right now, let's talk about Green Christmas. Every year, on week 17 of football, before the Super Bowl, there's the Jets Miami game. I'm a hardcore New York Jets fan. J E T S, Jets, Jets, Jets. I got the duct tape. I got the pot holders that I don't know why I'm going to use them, probably for college. I got the Jets nutcracker. I got, and I have to question this one, Jets potato head. Dude, I'm 17. This is like ages two and up. Alright. I got the Jets Snuggy, which is the greatest thing ever because I'm so warm in this thing. But that's beside the point. Let's <laughs> let's I don't need the Snuggy right now though, it's a bit warm in here. Which only reveals more Jets apparel. So let's continue talking, shall we? I've also got Jet slippers. I'm I'm practically a Jets addict if you have to word it in any way other than how I expect the gym. Christmas for us is a time for us to go to everyone's family, you know, I'll come, we'll stay in our house, and with my brother, or with my brothers, I should say, my bad, two brothers, I will come here and we'll eat some breakfast, have some eggs, bacon, some sausage, all the magical foods of Christmas, except for a goose, which comes later. And now we open up presents, oh my gosh, Santa came, and now I've got a bunch of presents over there and over there, I mean, some presents are much better than others. I mean, <laughs> yay, look at this. I got toothpaste. <laughs> like, <laughs> thanks, Mom. Do you have them from Mom? Oh, it's toothpaste? Oh, thanks. Now my teeth are going to be clean for college. That's fantastic. And there's things like this that I have to wait 11 years to finish. Coin collector. I am terrible with coin collecting. You are asking so much of me. Oh, my gosh. And I've never actually opened this, and now that I've seen it, I'm... Kind of earth that I'm not gonna be able to. Oh my god, there's more. Okay, okay, whatever. I'm getting sidetracked. Also, I've got a really stuffed up ghost, and I don't know why. It's really ridiculous. I feel like it's. I always feel like it's puberty. Like, oh yeah, my voice is getting deeper. Nope, I just have a stuffy nose. Blow my nose. I'm like, <gasps> hello, everybody. Hi, I'm back. I'm normal. I'm not. Damn it. <laughs> but yeah, I've got so much jet stuff. It's amazing. I love it. Now, Christmas for us is go to our house, stay at our house, go to my uh, aunt and uncle's house. I did my Thanksgiving 2013 vlog in, that was their house, and we uh, celebrated Christmas there, went over there, like, oh, what did you guys get? And of course, they're all older than me, so I don't know what they usually get. I don't know. I don't know. I, I love Christmas. I'll be perfectly honest with you. I love Christmas instead of Easter is probably my favorite holiday. I think Christmas is just my favorite holiday. Like, I think the idea of opening a box and not knowing what's in it is just kind of amazing. Uh, it's, there's something about it between the ages of zero and like my age now that is just like I wonder what's gonna be in it because you never know. I could open up a box that looks like this, but it could be a box and a box and a box and a box that leads to this. I mean, it's really cool. It's it's kind of, not to be like a theo not to be like a theologian or whatever however it's pronounced, but come on, that's pretty cool, don't you think? Anyway. <laughs> So, really, all I can really say about the holidays, it's all about the family, and of course, after going to my uncle's house, it's, we go to my uh, grandmother's house, eat some goose, some dumplings, because we're a German family, we're allowed to eat dumplings, it's so good, love dumplings. For me, Christmas is really just like, a reflection, followed by like, flashbacks of three years ago, like, oh, remember when I was that little, and then I got underwear because I stopped believing? Yeah, I remember that too, oh my god, I hated that year, it's okay, I got socks this year. Somewhere in that pile. I got socks, because who doesn't love socks? Speaking of socks, I'm going to sock the person who gave it down. I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> that's a terrible thought. Um, 
Yeah, and I figured what better place to do my Christmas vlog than in front of a Christmas tree. That is much, much taller than me. Ouch. Speaking of that, I just, like, grabbed one. I didn't know what it was. I grabbed something. It was like the pine leaves. All of a sudden I got stuck with one. Alright, we're good. So, yeah, really, there's so much to Christmas. I just, there's so much to enjoy. And I don't want to repeat anything from last year, which is why I'm kind of not saying much this year. And naturally, what I'm going to say to you next is, come December 31st, whatever day, let's go Jets. Like, that, that's kind of, like, blatantly obvious. <laughs> is it not blatantly obvious yet? <laughs> yeah, and I got accepted into three colleges now, so now I know that when I go to, I think, some some college in New Hampshire, maybe Pennsylvania, but I'm hoping New Hampshire because how great would it be in Patriot Nation if I was wearing Jets stuff in, in Patriot Nation? Funny story, actually. Now, this is where I get to tell funny stories. I like this. I went to uh, a university up in New Hampshire that had a Patriot mascot. And I came in with all Jet stuff on. I was like, all right, let's go. I'm ready for college. I wonder if they're going to like me. Are they going to accept me for who I am? And the Patriot mascot shakes my hand, and I walk away. And he grabs my shoulder, pulls me back, and he looks at me. And he gives me, like, oh, are you wearing Jet stuff for? And he's like, he didn't say anything. because mascots can't say much. And he just looks at me like, and he headlocks me. I got headlocked by a college mascot. Not that I can put that on a resume and say that's going to get me somewhere, but you know that you've hit a low part of your life when you get headlocked by a mascot because you're wearing the wrong apparel. Come on. Where's the judgment call there? But anyway. Um, so yeah, that's, that's really Christmas in a nutshell, and you got a funny story out of it. So let's talk about the channel updates, because I love doing this, because I have so much good stuff I want to talk about. Ah, uh, ow, <laughs> tree in the head. Oh, man, I love more green stuff. It's a green Santa Claus. I was getting sidetracked. Okay, channel updates. Super Spin Golf is almost done. Thank God, because my dad is getting so pissed. Oh, I can't win. Oh, I can't do this. Oh, I Stop. Stop it. Stop it. He, he, he's, he, okay, he kicked my butt in Mad Madness, let's be realistic, he kicked my butt. And now here I am, and Karma's biting him in the butt, and now he hates me for it. <laughs> like, thanks, you're putting me in this game, it's already 8 nothing or 9 nothing. like, oh, what are we gonna do? Okay, great. When that's over, however, and when Mario Galaxy is, well, Mario Galaxy, we still got a long way to go. And that's almost done, and when that's, excuse me, when that's done... Battle Block Theater. That's the next series. I want to play that game. That is the funniest game I've ever played. I, and I've yet to play this game, which will be my triple threat question. Um, okay, so... <clears throat> geez, I've got such a stuffed up throw right now. Jeez. Okay, so... In addition to uh, Battle Block Theater, I'm thinking maybe Franchise Flashback that was recommended to me. I'll talk about that in more detail probably on the New Year's vlog, but... Hey. You never know. So, yeah. That, that's Christmas in a nutshell, really. I don't know. Uh, am I missing anything? I don't think I am in terms of channel updates. I mean, obviously the vlogs are going to continue until God knows when. And after that, we will see what happens. Now for the midget triple threat question. And I can tell this is going to be very, very interesting. Number one, how do you celebrate Christmas? How do I celebrate Christmas? I've already told you. Family, family, family. And that's why it's the 26th day, because family comes first. And I don't know if this is like a huge thing. I don't know if that's a problem to anyone. If I'm doing this because I had family yesterday, so I'm taking time to do this today. I mean, honestly, I've got no issues doing this a day after Christmas, even though I feel kind of bad that it's not being put on the day of. But I feel like other people are also on Christmas break doing whatever thing with family. Then they're not going to see the video anyway, so it's fine if I do the 26th. You guys will tell me in the comments whether or not that's okay. I don't mind it. We'll see how you guys feel. Second question is, actually, I should probably ask this, what do you guys celebrate? Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Kwan, or Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Christmas? I don't know if you can celebrate Boxing Day. I'm not sure if that's a thing. Maybe Boxing Day is not August 6th. Maybe I'm wrong. But it might also be the 26th. That might be Kwanzaa, though. Do people even celebrate Kwanzaa anymore? Like, I, <laughs> I completely, this completely blew my mind. I was like, I know people that celebrate Hanukkah, and I know I still sing a dreidel song. And I know that I know that Christmas is obviously celebrated because 
that. But, yeah, I don't know if people actually celebrate Kwanzaa anymore. I don't know who celebrates Kwanzaa. I don't know if that's, like, common knowledge. I don't know who celebrates it. But that brings me to the last question. Best gift you think you got if you celebrate Christmas? I have here a set of four games that, without even thinking about it, I didn't put them into order yet, but I'm going to do that right now. From worst to best so far. Let me just set this up. And this is just my opinion, but we'll go through them. WWE. I'm a huge fan of John Cena. You don't see me. <laughs> I'll be honest, I, I've never gotten actually into WWE that much. I got back into it, and now I love it. Which brings me to my next game, Madden. The only reason I'm putting this second in line is because I have Madden 09, Madden 08, Madden 11, Madden 13. There's a pattern going here. I'm used to these games. Mortal Kombat. I can play against my brother online, and now I have the game, and I'm a huge fan of Cyber Sub-Zero. Let's be realistic, I'm getting into every aspect. Which brings me to the last game, and please don't ask me, oh, I want you guys to play this. Because I'm not going to do it, it's so bad. South Park Stick of Truth. I cannot and will not play this on my channel. I really, I can't. <laughs> that is so inappropriate. That'd be like... A seven-year-old playing GTA 5 on his channel. And I'm sure there's at least four people that do that. I just, I can't play that. And I'll get in trouble for it. That's just not beyond me. Hey, you, come here. Come come help me say goodbye to the people. So that's the end of this video. Remember, if you enjoyed, to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And remember to stay short and stay awesome. And as always, leave feedback, guys, because it helps out a lot. And, uh, say goodbye. Okay, fine, don't, kiss her. don't say goodbye. <laughs> I tried, guys. I'm sorry. Alright. Well, that's the end of this episode. I hope you guys liked it. Stay short, stay awesome. And I'll see you next vlog. Take it easy.